Let's hit on Oregon hiring Dan Lanning, the defensive coordinator out of Georgia, uh, only 35 years old. Young, young guy. A uh, lot of really interesting stories, and I had heard about this because you guys know we are based in Memphis. Dan Lanning was a staff member at the University of Memphis back from 2016 through 2017. He was a linebacker coach, recruiting guy, really, really well respected by everybody that has ever been around him. And he's only 35, super young. He was a GA and a recruiting coordinator at Arizona State. So he knows at least a little bit about the Pac-12. But the way that he got that job at Arizona State was he drove, I think it was like 10 to 12 hours, up to uh, Pitt and told Todd Graham that he needed to hire him as a GA and proved his case. He fought for his job, and he got a, a GA job at Pitt and then went with Todd Graham to Arizona State and then from there went to Sam Houston State, went to Alabama as a GA for the 2015 National Championship year, and then went to Memphis for a couple of years and now has been at Georgia since 2018. He's, he's worked his way up the chart, he, again, well-respected by everybody. The fun part about this, of course, was on Friday when the uh, Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported that he was going to be the next Oregon coach, and immediately all of the Oregon bunch reached out to their buddies at 247 and, and wherever else. There were a lot of people that were saying, hey, this is not a done deal. We have not hired a coach, et cetera, et cetera. So, of course, everybody's freaking out. Oh, the AJC got this wrong. This is, uh, cheers to whatever, real reporting. And then it comes out on Saturday. Yeah, by the way, they did hire Dan Lanning. Like, this is done. It's official. The letter from the school president and from the athletic director has gone out to all the players and their families and whatnot. Hey. They were right. The AJC was correct. Bottom line. So that was interesting to see, of course. Uh, along with that, the Twitter spaces that have gone on around this hiring have been phenomenal. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the concept of Twitter spaces as of yet, but it is a new feature that Twitter is doing that allows a lot of people to get together and take turns talking. It's almost like a call-in radio show uh, basically, at some point, we could do this with Winning Cures Everything. It, it could be very interesting. I haven't figured out how to actually record it yet. But you can do Twitter spaces and have as many different speakers as you would like. And you just, as the host, you click on each one as you go along. Uh, you can give admin rights to certain things, etc. It's very, very interesting. And they had a ton of them. There's actually one. I, I'm recording this, of course, late on Sunday evening. There's one going on right now with Jeff Schwartz, with Joey Harrington, with uh, George Foster, with a bunch of different Oregon guys that are all talking about the hire and whether or not this was a good idea, etc. You're bringing somebody from the Southeast, again, to Oregon, one, to learn the landscape. I, I don't believe that there will be any problem with recruiting from Dan Lanning. This is a guy that lives and breathes recruiting. He understands it. That's part of the reason why Kirby Smart trusted him so much, uh, even as young as he is. But he will be able to recruit at Oregon. He will do his thing. The question will be, if he gets a job offer back in the SEC, a big-time job somewhere along those lines, will he leave Oregon? And there were a lot of people that wanted Chip Kelly because they wanted somebody that was going to stay at Oregon. And I understand it. You've had a lot of guys leave. I totally get that. But this guy is young enough. You give him time to build a, family, or a home there. He's got a family. His wife was uh, diagnosed with cancer. Uh, a few years ago, 2017, somewhere around there, and battled it, fought it, beat it. They've got children, all that, and it's it's a very young family, of course. You get out to Oregon, that's a beautiful part of the world. He may not want to leave. We'll see. I think it's a great hire. I think it's good. I, I There's always the, I'm not going to grade it, but I was torn between should they go with Chip Kelly because they've got a, a roster right now that is built to win, or do you go with the young guy and continue the program foundation building towards the future? They went with the future, and I understand it. Uh, you've got a guy that's young enough that I think would be fine with setting up home base in Eugene, Oregon. That's what I think. I think he could be there for a very, very, very long time. This won't be a three-year-and-out kind of thing. 
So we'll see what happens. But I do like the hire for Oregon, and and the way that it all played out over the weekend was incredibly entertaining. Entertaining as hell. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys that were doing the Twitter spaces. I jumped into a lot of them. They were, they were good listens. They were good listens, absolutely. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.